Sean, remaining positive during this pandemic sometimes can be quite a feat. It, in fact, can be just mind over matter. And our next guest is an experienced business coach and author who wrote a book called Mind Over Matter, Go From Surviving to Thriving. And it is a perfect topic to talk about in 2020. She joins us now. No kidding. We're going to need to take it in the next year, too. Something tells me Tamara Doris is here. She's a business abundant coach, abundance coach, rather. And she joins us now. How are you, though, Tamara? How are you? I am amazing. Thank you so much for having me this morning. It's great to have you. Uh, let's, we all, it is so easy to talk about why this pandemic stinks. Let's call it what it is. I mean, this has been a year. It has been a year. I have aged a lot this year. Right. We all have. Um, Absolutely. Let's try to flip it on its head. <laughs> Is there anything good about this pandemic? Anything, please? Yes, yes. I think there I think there are several things. The first thing I think is that it has forced us. We are a society, we're a world, but we're a society that's so busy and we're doing 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 and the pandemic has made us stop and just, you know, we're back to basics. We're at home, we're spending time with family, we're doing crafts we're cooking we're baking we're we're just really really being forced to get to know ourselves again and i think that that's something that's been missing for a long time yeah tamara i couldn't agree with you more there has been such a benefit for so many people um mm -hmm. in just slowing down and it's interesting how kind of what is important what people actually value has then risen to the top mm -hmm. um still you know my husband and i have been staying home a lot um, still, there's a lot going on out there. You have the pandemic, you have a uh, pretty contentious election. Yeah. How, how do you advise that people can deal with all that outside influence? Well, the one thing that I try to teach my clients is that everything that's going on around us, outside of us is, and this might sound a little uh, metaphysical, but it's really just a reflection of the inner chaos. And so our first responsibility to ourselves, to our families, to our communities, to our country, um, really boils down to being grounded, um, meditating, taking care of ourselves, and then it, it spans outward. Yeah. I, yeah. I, this that reminds me of, of the moment in, uh, in office space where this guy's miserable at his job, and then one day he flicks a switch and he just decides, you know what? <laughs> Everything's okay. It's going to be great. Yep. It really is mind over matter. Yeah. It's kind of saying to yourself, you know what? I'm going to change the way I deal with all of this, which is then going to create change around me. Is that the way that, that you see? Absolutely. It? Absolutely. And, you know, it's really interesting because if you think about it, and the slowing down part is extremely essential, but if you think about it, we spend so much time trying to get somewhere. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it never ends. I mean, there's always going to be problems and challenges and we're, you know, we're going to end up dead eventually. Um, so I'm not in a hurry to get there. I don't think you guys are either. No, <laughs> I'd rather not. That'd be good. It's just such a great point. I, I, I really love this theme. It's, it's part of the big wisdom of this year. Um, in, in terms of going, you know, from surviving to thriving, I love that you're, you're kind of putting the responsibility, the opportunity in people's hands. Like you have the ability um, to thrive. Um, still, there, there's a lot of things that we're dealing with. How do we better deal with it all? Well, well, you know, you made a very good comment when you said it's a contentious election, and I couldn't agree more. But I laugh when I see the news feed on social media and whatnot, because people are giving their power away. I yeah. mean, they're basically saying, oh, my gosh, if this person wins, my life is over. Or if this person wins, oh, what will I do? And again, that's putting our power outside ourselves. And it never, ever, ever brings peace of mind when we do that. Yeah. Uh, there, there's a thing called uh, metacreation. Explain what this is. Thank you. Metacreation is something that, <laughs> that I invented, but it wasn't like I invented it. Um, I just kind of trademarked it. It's just taking meditation and visualization and adding the, the biology of your, what I call your happy hormones, um, and seeing how things can change in your external world when you change them in your internal world. And the reason that I designed this, and I've had so much success with it myself and with my clients, is because people are too dang busy to meditate. Yeah. So if I give them a job when they're meditating, see what you want, get excited about it, pretend that you're really there, it works. And it's like it, they get the same benefit of meditating. That's awesome. I like that. That's excellent. Thank you. We're going to mention where people can get your book for free, but I have to thank you for joining us. Honestly, you gave us just a little shot of optimism today. I think you have a lot of wisdom to share. Thank you so much, Tamara. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.
Right. That's right. If you would like a copy of her book, and quite frankly, I would like a copy of her book, Sean, <laughs> Mind it, Over yeah. Matter, How to Go From Surviving to Thriving. She's offering a free copy on Kindle. Uh, the link is on Amazon. It should be right there below. And uh, Bestseller Publishing, a proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.